So I'm saying that's a good goal. I always try and get some tangible way of achieving the goal. So for this amount of money, I want to accomplish this. So this is what I'm trying to do. So I was asking what goes in here. So I'm trying to create a business backlog that I can then take to the team and create a product backlog so they can build it. Just business stuff. Now this is IT gets in the way all the time when I try and do this. So I try not to have them in the room. Doesn't always work. Try to tell them to keep quiet. Doesn't always work. <laughs> so I'm saying, what's the priority? So I want to go through and find the MMS and a prioritization of the business plan, business this based on business value. So I'm looking for high to low. I said, what goes in here? And I, I started with loans and checks because I got this from the goal. I said, is one more important than the other? And they said, no, we don't know. I said, okay, what's involved in loans? They said, well, there's outbound, there's inbound. <coughs> And then checks as withdrawals and his terminations. And I said, what's the priority? Well, the data on the business case shows 69% of them were outbound loans. So that was number one. So I asked an IT question, which is, is inbound next? And they said no. So why did I ask that question? Because IT thinks, well, if I already built this, shouldn't we build this next? So for the business question, that was no. That was actually the lowest. They said it was something in checks. I said, which one? And they, they, they gave me an order. They said, this is second, this is third, this was fourth from a business value perspective. Now, this is just comparative. I didn't say how much business value was there in here. I said, of these four, what's the order of business value? So they said, outbound. So I'm like, okay. So, um, so I want to know what the business capabilities are for outbound. I know, you probably can't read my writing. Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> they said I had the manager. So this is the business. I'm asking the business, what are the business capabilities? So I'm basically saying, how do you process an outbound ACH transaction? Like, what's your workflow? Tell me what you do that at some point I'm going to ask what the system needs to do. But right now, I just want to know what you do. What's the business functionality you have to do? So I have to manage banking info. Got to redirect from check to ACH. Got to do some kind of bank notify. Got to cover funds. We can move about. Got to do some kind of confirmation. And you know, the business was trying to figure this out. I said, I don't care. I'm not doing detailed requirements. I'm just asking what this. So I know I got to do some kind of confirmation. I'll figure it out. If you tell me to build it, then we'll sit down and do detailed requirements. So I don't need to know it here. I got to do some, uh, let's say, say analytics. So these are business capabilities. This is where the IT folks were really difficult. They said, well, how are you going to do that? So I didn't ask that question. I'm asking what do you need to do. You guys see the difference? Right, so this is the business functionality. We haven't talked about what systems are going to do it, what the behavior is, and all that kind of stuff. That comes later. So then I asked, what um, are the different scenarios for an outbound <laughs> transaction? Like, how can I initiate an outbound transaction? I said, oh, you can do it by the web. Do it by calling in and send in paper, or you can use the IVR system. So I asked the question, and I said, can you prioritize these or do you need them all? They said, no, web's the most one, the most important one, and call in the second. I said, can you release web? They said, yeah. So that's a business feature. Outbound ACH transaction initiated by the web. That's a business feature. So I'm trying to think, can I, is that an MMF? He said, yeah, I'll get value if you release that. I said, okay, so what will it cost to deploy it? He said, what does that mean? He said, well, do you, you, know, you have to train somebody. Oh, yeah, we're going to train the process. So, I said, well, is that worth doing for this? He said, no. He said, so then what should we do? He said, we should do web and call. So this is my MMF. You guys see that? This is a business feature. This is my MMF. This is high priority. I said, well, when do you want to do paper? He said, we don't really care about you less than 1%. So it goes way bad in the backlog. So now I get a further priority. And when I go into the user side, this is a user story. Manage banking info for an ACH outbound web initiated transaction. That's a user story. So that's pretty tight. I know when it's done. You guys see that? 
this list should never give me stuff that doesn't have acceptance criteria. It means they didn't go through this kind of process, which they know what scenario, they know what, now I can go further and say, well, what role? Is it an internal user? Is it an external process associate? And I can keep refining this to get a priority. You guys see that? So going back to here, this now split into an MMF, which has two features, and then I got these other business features in my business backlog. Now, you know, they, I pick on IT a lot, I know. I, I don't mean to, but when I exploded all of these, they all had vanity maintenance on. Right? They all had this. So what would IT say to do? Build them all together. Build managed banking as well. Right? That's not business driven. Like, why would I delay realizing 80% or whatever the percentage of outbound value to build a whole big subsystem and then enable it? You guys see what I'm talking about? Now, the caution there is if they're not going to enable this for a year, I want to optimize to when it's released not when I can build it. You guys follow that? Because I can build smaller and quicker than the business can consume. Almost always the case. Especially when you start breaking it down by the scenarios. And so you want to optimize it to when you're using it, not how quickly you can build it, because it'll just sit as inventory unused, and again, you're not realizing your value. So there's this notion of, I do want to show this, if this is value or profit, there's, there's, this is higher than this. If you only do planning once, this will win. Right? Higher, higher profit, so do that one first. If you plan on a quarterly basis and continually replan, this has no degradation of value regardless of when you release it. This one does, so this, should run, this one should be built first. <coughs> because this cost of delay is what you want to take, in, take advantage of. You just following that? Really important. This one clearly has higher value, but this is the one you should prioritize. Because it loses its value based on the cost of delay. And this doesn't happen when you're doing it at a project level. It happens when you're at an MMF level. You have the opportunity to go back in and Reevaluate it for some time. Yeah, that's important. Um, so, do I need to know the value to prioritize? Yes. Yes. Do I need to know the cost? Not initially. I need to know the cost of delay. I need to know the cost of delay. Yeah, that, you know, I think that's the that that is a good point. You have to look at what they consider cost. If it's just the cost to build, that's not all the cost. If it's the cost of delay plus the cost to build plus the risk plus a whole bunch of other things, then you have to, I mean, lost opportunity is something I see them get wrong all the time. But the other IT job IT over there was I had a retail app that had a fifty-four billion dollar opportunity. And the IT guys are asking me how many teams are you going to tune teams on? I'm like, are you kidding me? That's four billion a month. <laughs> Your teams don't cost four billion a month. Why are you? And I can't believe that's the way you guys think. So anyway, it's that, that's probably not nice. You need to know the cost to sequence stuff. So in that in that sales example, ten thousand pounds, million pounds, two million units, one unit. <laughs> if his cost five million to build. And his only cost half a million to build, I would make a different decision. I might do both. I would just do them in a different order. You guys see that? So I don't want to invest in what the cost to build it is unless you tell me I should even look at it. And you telling me I should even look at it is based on the business value proposition, including cost of delay. Okay, so 